we'll see if we go through yet another microwave today. In today's video, we're going to see what happens if we put highlighters in a microwave. Guys, uh, a little bit ago I saw a picture, I think it was like a screenshot that had been like passed around from nine different sites um, and originated on Tumblr and it showed what looked to be a pink highlighter in a microwave and this weird like cloud coming off of it and commented the color and maybe like the foam inside one of these things. Yeah, it, it didn't weird. look like any part of a highlighter I recognized and it was like on the ceiling of the microwave. Anyway, the comments talked about how it made it look like you'd created a little nebula, but there were no instructions. It just said, look what happens if you put a highlighter in a microwave. Here's the basic idea. A picture on the internet indicated that putting highlighters in a microwave would result in a weird stringy fluff cloud the color of the highlighter. There were no other instructions given, but I wanted to give it a try to see if we could replicate that result. I looked into it a little bit like I found some old videos like I think the newest one was five years ago of people trying this and they had like some similar results. But basically I just wanted to try and see what happens if we microwave some highlighters and see if we get the result that was seen in that Tumblr post. And if we can't, then what can we get as a result? And so we've got a lot of highlighters in multiple different brands, including I believe the original was Sharpie brand, but I got other brands just in case and we're gonna take our microwave and see what happens. So these fluorescent, if you've ever seen them on under black lights, you'll know what I'm talking about. We've done a few tricks in the past. Something that's just kind of fun because I was the kid in school who would always draw on myself. Okay. That's a very, very bright geek symbol on my arm now. Here's the fun part. You let that dry. You can take the color off, thank you, with a wet rag. But now, boom! You want to go to a blacklight party and still be a secret ninja? Not visible, quite visible. Again, it was just a photo. It didn't give any instructions, but some of the other videos people were putting in for like two minutes, so. Oh. Well. I'm so glad I was over here. That's uh. I'm here because I jump. <laughs> that's actually really, really similar to what was in the picture. We have to do it with several colors at once. So I was over here coloring while Nate was uh, exploding in a pen. That's how far I got. I do suspect that it's not actually empty, but that it's not good at going quickly. You, no, absolutely. I think if you just did like one line every two minutes, you'd be able to keep going, fill a whole oh, page. Yes. But I'm just severely disappointed with the lack of flow. coverage. Yes. Well, here, maybe this will make you happier. <gasps> Pink, it will! Pink it will! And highlighter I'm just gonna... nebula fluff. There you go. Thanks. Oh. I think I was right that this stringy stuff is uh, inside. So we'll have to open oh, that yeah, up. Oh yeah, it's it's the guts. You've seen us pull these apart before. I now pull one apart that hasn't been destroyed. The inside of one of these pens has a little plastic tube and it contains the fuzz, this fluffy stuff that is what holds the ink. And then it drops down into your pen as you go. This is the one that I just cooked. So this is what it normally looks like. This little part is what's holding it in place. Compared to this. Will this melt if you leave the nebula in long enough? Okay, so it's plastic something, because that is just, yeah, melty. I'm gonna take the nib out of a yellow one. I'll just see what that does. Nibless, Nibless. meaning the, the felt tip part that you actually write with. That's been removed, so we're going to see how that affects it. And at the same time, we're kind of testing if it works with the yellow highlighters at all. We'll have to do other tests. We've got a lot of the yellow. Yeah, toss the yellow in before we do nibbles. Oh, sure. Just a regular yellow one, see what it does. There you go, open it up. My feet stayed on the ground that time. Oh! So I would say, yep, pretty much the same <laughs> result. We got a cloud of yellow fluff. Good. We've got some of it still coming out of the highlighter itself. That's fun. And then a whole lot of it on the ceiling of the microwave. Okay, next one. Same thing, yellow one. I want to know if there's any difference if we remove the nib. So this one has been removed. That's the little part that you draw with. Put it back on. Here we go. Stop that sounded it. louder. Might have been. Fuzzed up pretty great. <laughs> Thank yep, you. That was melted. Yeah. Neat. Green Sharpie. Green. 
Oh, we got a fountain again. Ooh, oh. Let's take out the nib, put the lid back on, and turn it back on. Yeah, that one I think exploded yes! a lot more. Look at it! Look. Oh, it exploded out the bottom. <laughs> good. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Okay, so I think it does have to do with the seal. We had good success so far, <laughs> making our little uh, highlighter fuzz cloud nebulas and thoroughly painting the inside of our microwave. Mm -hmm. But we have a bunch of these other ones. This would be the Bic brand. Oh. Oozing out the top. Oh, I didn't leave the lid on. Should have left the lid on. And it fell. Still filming. And it popped the lid off and launched itself across the microwave. I don't think I saw any huh. fibers, but it did launch itself with its spray, so that's fun. How about a jot? Let's try a jot. Oh, it popped the nib out. All right, so I'm curious with these jot mm -hmm. ones, what's happening on the inside? Do we have yeah. that same fibrous thing holding the ink in place or are they using a different method? Yeah, It, it looks just, pretty similar. But it's smaller, I'm seeing. We had a couple Sharpie brands that didn't make the foam. So maybe that's an outlier. Let's try another one. Stop, bottom came off and it kind of did. Wow, yep, okay, so, different kind though. Yeah, it's a little different consistency. The plastic, you can tell. Looks like it expanded. Like, yeah, it formed like a sheet around it. We got some fuzz. It's less nebulous and more just fibrous. But it still worked. Yeah. We still got a result. I have good feelings about the Liquimark. I don't know if the nib's gonna come off, but uh, I did pull it apart and it is the same as the jaw. All right, let's try a Liquimark. <laughs> I think we uh, huh. got some concentrated little shotgun blast of fuzz. At there the top. is the oh, nib shot off. It looks like it exploded. Off. Pen and gear, it's clearly just a cartridge full of liquid. So I think this is just gonna like explode liquid everywhere. This one will be fun to clean up. Yeah, I suspect this is gonna make among the biggest messes. And noises. 20 seconds. Oh! We were right. <laughs> we were right. The inside of the microwave is just orange. <laughs> and it didn't actually break the casing. The casing is intact. That's what it I just was pulled it all about. apart. And it is empty. Empty, Ooh, empty. Yeah. All that ink just boiled right on out. We haven't done blue yet, so I think that makes blue the perfect color to test what happens if you do several at once. Yes, there's one, two, yeah! <laughs> well, I think I got some highlighter ink or steam on the lens of the phone. Oh yeah, that's that's got some blue right on it. I actually have little bits of multiple colors on there. Before it was just on the edges, and this one it actually like blurred the vision of the camera just a little bit. What color is gonna go first? Sharpie's in a microwave. Orange. Orange! But it fountained, it didn't Dang it. Yeah! Uh... Keep going. Good! Green. This is so very loud. <laughs> Too many colors! <laughs> Too many Wait. colors! Yes, it that looks like a black light. Carnage. So, wrong. very quickly, I think like the first one was the orange which sprayed and didn't explode. Yeah. And then very quickly, I think the second one was like blue and it exploded but fell over or like exploded at the bottom and that knocked some of the other ones over. So after that, they were all just sideways. Well, Sharpie's in a microwave because we can. Round and round they go. Where it stops, nobody knows. I bet yellow is first. We're at 30 seconds. One. one. Seven fell over. <laughs> Three, four, five, Good. Six. <laughs> I forgot to count the shots. <laughs> We're at six. Let's just open it. 
It's like looking into a swamp if swamps were neon yellow. Just like classic movie with like stuff growing and I love it. Vines everywhere and moss and lichen. Good job, Tumblr. I'm proud of you. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. If you like this sort of content, hit that button down at the bottom to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.